hi my angels welcome back to my channel and this is the quickest hairdo i've ever done um well hairdo tutorial that i ever done it's really easy really simple i've been seeing it on youtube so i'm like hey let me try and share it with my angels because i don't know if you guys follow them or if you've seen it or not but um it's just basically a braidless crochet in the back and then at the top you just do your top knot now if you don't want to do the braidless crochet and you just want to know how to do the top knot i do have a video which i will put up here or put in the description um on just how to do the top knot um i really really like this hairstyle and it's really really cute i'm working tomorrow so i wanted my hair to be off my face and also not on my neck so as you can see it's not hitting my neck and it's not hot all in the back so i can get my job done and not um not be ready to snatch my wig off but this is basically it you guys let me tell you what you guys need before i get to rambling and talking um first of all you need to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and if you are already one of my angels then please hit the bell right next to subscribe and it will let you guys know when i put out a new video i just love it i love the way they do this shake it i feel real black girl right now i feel real afrocentric my black girl rocks but um here we go I used this horrible gel that I bought, um, Let's Jam Moisturize Shine Gel. It's Mega Hole. I used this gem in my one of my last tutorials, and it made the back of my head wavy, so I never used it again. But this time, I really didn't care about it being wavy. I just wanted something to make it slick up and harden. Um, this definitely slicked my hair up. It did make it a little hard. Um, so, I got this from my beauty supply. It was $4.99. So you need jam. Of course, I have my edge control, my handy dandy, um, extreme firm hold edge control because these edges be tripping. And my spritz, uh, liquid mousse spritz. I love this spritz to death. Like pump it up used to be a thing, but then pump it up changed their formula, and it don't even work no more. But this bad boy right here will harden your hair so good. And um, I used my Got To Be Gel Free Spray on the back of my head. So I used my spritz on the front, and then on the back of my head, I used this. Because I really want the back of my head to be really hard and um, to stay up. First, you need some braiding hair for your top knot. I got um, Expressions $5.99. What I will tell you, if you're doing a pack of um, hair, don't try to use the whole pack and make a top knot that's not gonna work like literally use a little bit of it to make this top knot because you want it still to look natural everything else look natural you want this to semi look natural um rubber bands scissors a comb your latch hook i got mine from yeah i got mine from the beauty supply it was a dollar 99 or it was 99 cent and the crochet hair i used is by Motto Motto. And it is the Ziggy Curl. And it's the 2X Wine Curl Collection Braid. So, I got mine in a 1B. Uh-oh. I'm going to bring it all up in y'all face so y'all can see. I got mine in a 1B. And this is what the package looks like. And as you can see, I paid $9.99 for it. I did buy two packs. I have this much hair left over. It comes in two rolls per pack. So, I did use three rolls. This is an entire one roll and um yeah so in total this is going to cost you about 15 i mean i'm sorry for two packs of this and your braiding hair if you need it it's going to cost you about 24 dollars so this is a 24 dollar 25 dollar hairdo it's really quick and simple and easy so i hope you guys like it let me stop rambling because me talking is longer than the actual tutorial so I'm going to have to cut this down some. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Okay, Angel. So what you want to do is remove the hair out the pack, of course. And one by one, we're going to crochet it to the back of our head. Now, what I will tell you guys is I did start my crochet 
not at the bottom of my head, but a little bit midway where my ear is because my hair is shorter in the back and I didn't want any of my crochet to slip. So I did start it high up and it's best because it's summertime and you don't want all that hair on your neck. So make sure you guys, if your hair is short in the back, make sure you start it where your hair is the longest. So your crochet don't be coming out all in public because that's just not cute. So I'm going to continue putting the crochet in my head off camera because I don't want to sit it on the camera and do the whole thing. I'm going to go sit and watch TV, Ballers is on, and Insecure. So this is a picture of what it looks like with me almost done. And now I'm sitting in front of the camera and I'm just doing my top knot. And once again, if you guys want to see how I do my top knot and the process I go through, there will be a video in the description and at the end of this video. So don't be alarmed. I will show you if you do not know. Just check out the video as soon as this one is over. So when you're doing your top knot, you want to make sure you pin it really, really good so it's not coming down. Because as you know, if you've done it before, it's kind of hard to keep those twists in place, especially when you're trying to make it high. So now that I'm shaking the camera, Right now, um, I'm done with the whole hairstyle and I just want to trim it and shape it and make it look the way I really want it to look and tease the top a little bit. So you can style yours the way you want to style yours, but I wanted some little height. So I did go ahead and put some layers in it. And to do layers, you just take the hair and you cut it at an angle. That's all. So you want to do that and you want to shape and frame it the way you want it to be and add more body and pull out your curls and be very gentle because this hair gets frizzy very, very fast. So after you're done with your top knot and you're done framing your face or teasing your hair to make it bigger. You wanna fix your edges because my edges totally got messed up while I was trying to do my top knot. So you wanna spread and hold it because if you got thick hair like mine, it be slipping and tripping. So I'm taking my Garnier Fructis hairspray and just spraying everything. And I'm also gonna spray my edges with the spritz and make sure it's up there. So once again, you just see me smoothing my hair in, making sure I'm pushing any flyaways under my twist, my top knot, sorry. And that's it, you guys. That's basically the hairstyle. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys come out like mine did or even better. Make sure you guys hit me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all my social medias will be in the description below. And I hope you guys like this tutorial and it helped you. Bye.